what I love that Lewis does is, so let's take that first commandment. Classic Lewis, you've got love your neighbor as yourself. Most people, I would assume, and this was me, when you hear that at first, you hear, love your neighbor. All right, I've got to love my neighbor. But then he focuses on, let's start with as yourself. Mm -hmm. How do we love ourselves? So you and I have spoken quite a bit about love. We've mentioned it a bunch, but what actually is it? Well, it is important to ask this question because you look at songs like the Beatles where you hear love is everything. Oh yeah, love is all you need. Uh, love is also a many splendid thing. I, I, I think of the famous in the New Testament, love is patient, love is kind, as Paul says. That we hear at every single wedding. For good reason. It's a good passage, but People need to pick another one. Is it just because it's overused? Is that why you don't like it? Yeah, it's just, you're, you're looking through the order of service and it's like, oh, 1 Corinthians 13, what a surprise. <laughs> There's a reason it's chosen. It's a very beautiful passage. Sure, but it, it, it's an important thing to define because the two greatest commandments we have are love the Lord God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. So unless we know what love is, we're not gonna know how to obey the two greatest commandments that God gave us. Yeah, and it's thrown around so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, love is used very liberally today. I love my wife, I love this hot dog. Yeah, <laughs> those aren't the same thing. Uh, I, I, it's important to start first when we're thinking through what is love by separating liking versus loving. And I think those tend to get very muddled together. Yeah, liking is what you do in middle school to the cute girl. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Phillips, I'm still to this day convinced she is one day going to become my wife. Yeah, the, the first girl I liked in middle school, Rihanna. And for, it's funny how back at those days, you're, it's for the wrong, it's for very simple reasons. For me, I love soccer, I was big into sports, and she was a great soccer player. I remember Jennifer had very nice handwriting. That's what brought you to her? The heart wants what the, heart, <laughs> the, heart, wants what the heart wants. I love it. But with liking though, what we're talking about is liking is more of a natural feeling. Mm. In the same way that you like some ice creams and you don't like other flavors of ice cream. But th there's, not, there's no sin with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You're just gonna be naturally inclined one way or the other way. Except I have a friend, Adam, he doesn't like mint choc chip. I think, that's oh. some, I think that's some kind of heresy. Yeah, that's terrible. Who doesn't like mint chocolate chip? Loving though, is very different. Mm. It's an act of will. Liking's a natural feeling. Love is more about the will. Absolutely. In uh, God in the Dock, uh, one of Lewis's essays is answers to questions on Christianity. And he defines love like this. Love is not an affectionate feeling, but a steady wish for the loved person's ultimate good as far as it can be obtained. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a choice. It's the will. That is beautiful. And what I love that Lewis does is, so let's take that first commandment. Classic Lewis, you've got love your neighbor as yourself. Most people, I would assume, and this was me, when you hear that at first, you hear, love your neighbor. All right, I've got to love my neighbor. But then he focuses on, let's start with as yourself. Mm -hmm. How do we love ourselves? And he goes, well, the first thing I can say with certainty is there are many times I don't like myself, but I always love myself. You always seek your will, your, 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 your best. That's exactly right. There's, it, people might be thinking, well, I can think of times I don't actually love myself. Well, no, you're, you're probably thinking you actually don't like yourself mm -hmm. because love is more about willing the good of yourself. And you do that. There's a blueprint in that. We do it all the time because we can actually separate the sin and the sinner. So there's so many times I screw up. And, that's and, true. And I'm angry at myself for it. And I beat myself up and I say, why did you do that? Come on, you know that's not going to bring you happiness, your joy. You know, why did you treat that person that way? Why did you let that anger flare up? But yet I'm always willing my good because I'm separating those two. Mm -hmm. And that's what works. And the other thing I do actually too is you make a quick excuse. You say, well, you know, given my circumstances or these kind of things, this is why I acted that way. And it wasn't good, but I understand why. And he says, we're supposed to do that for our neighbor too. Mm. But that raises the question, well, what happens if I don't like my neighbor? Because generally it's easier to love someone, to will their good if you naturally like them. Yeah, it would be nice if I liked everybody. 
Al although even that can go wrong. I mean, if I have natural affection for somebody, I might give them unfair preference. Or think of a parent who indulges every whim of their child. You end up with a spoiled child at the end of it. So even that can lead us astray. But it is easier to will someone's good if I actually like them. Yeah. And Lewis is very blunt. He says, if you don't like your neighbor, act like you did. Will it. Yeah, it's, it's, it is refreshing to know that just because I feel one way towards someone that's not a sin, hmm. it's the choice that I make. Yeah, I don't have to like my neighbor, <laughs> but I am called to love him. I hope you like your neighbor right now. Mostly. But I, think about it in marriage. When you get up on the altar, you're not promising to have the same feelings for 75 years. You're promising to put the other person first. It's how you're going to act, how you're gonna, what you're going to will for that person. And Lewis also talks about this idea of cumulative interest. That when I do a loving act towards somebody, it, it nurtures loving feelings. In the same way that if I do something cruel towards somebody, it nurtures my hate of them. The image that comes to my mind is we all have that person who we know that just does such an incredible job loving. Mm -hmm. And you wish you could be like that. But here's the answer. It doesn't happen overnight. You Every day you make a choice to will the good of the other and it becomes easier and easier. And you probably also like that person more and more. You'll find that those two will probably go hand in hand, actually. And the same thing happens with God. So going to the greatest commandment of all, love God with all your heart, mind, strength, and soul. That is not saying you need to feel it every single day. There are times I go into prayer, I don't feel anything, but I still go to prayer every day because I know this, I know God is listening, even if I'm not feeling it. And that's so refreshing because when we think of those commandments, there's times where we don't feel like we like this other person. There's times we don't feel like we like God. But that's not what God asks us to do. He doesn't ask us to feel it. He asks us to will it every single day. And that's in our control. Mm -hmm. And that makes it so much easier to be able to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, strength, and soul. Cheers. Cheers. We want to thank you for watching this. David and I are incredibly passionate about the Christian faith. In our journey, we found there to be such truth and beauty in it. And if there's anything you disagree with, if there's anything you're struggling with that we just haven't talked about, we invite you to share that in the comments and we would love the opportunity to address that, to do a video on it. Because if you're struggling with it, probably others are. And if you are an excellent sort of person uh, who wants to go to heaven, please share this link. <laughs> it's that simple. We that, offer you heaven for easy. very cheap. Uh, but seriously, if you found one of our videos helpful, if it has helped you grow in your love and understanding of Christianity or C.S. Lewis, please share it with your friends. See you next time. Further up. Further in. Cheers.